Hello everybody, Danny speaking here. It's been a while since I put a video on, almost three months. Um, the reason being we all go through the pandemic, the lockdown is being uh, lifted as we speak for about a, a week or two now here in France, so hopefully everything will be okay. Uh, during that pandemic, well, I stayed at home like uh, we all have to and uh, I didn't watch a lot of video, didn't do, go online and I didn't obviously go shopping pretty much. So I waited a bit to get uh, some stuff to show you and um, here we are. So actually I had uh, pre-ordered a few vinyls before the whole pandemic thing hits and uh, the first one I think I got was from a band called Okiri Dokiri. I don't know if you heard of them. They look like a comedy band, but uh, they are uh, a mix of uh, hardcore and hard rock. Uh, really good. Uh, I know, I think it's their first album. I know this one. I haven't heard that one yet. So they put them on uh, vinyl on the band camp. So I went uh, online to purchase these two albums. Uh, they are basically um, taking Ned Flanders' character from The Simpsons and turning uh, it into a band. So there's a lot, if not always, a reference to uh, Ned Flanders. Like uh, on the title track songs here, Thunder Doodles. Uh, you've got uh, more animal than Flan. Donut Hell. So a lot of reference to The Simpsons and especially to Ned Flanders. So, and they all dress. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, like Ned. So go check them online. Okiri Dokiri. Their first album is uh, Audiri Doodiri, and their second is Audiri Tudiri. Very simple to memorize, I guess. So, Okiri Dokiri. Another one that I had, that I had uh, pre ordered before it was released. You can see the box, it's here for the CD. So, that would be Body Count. I love Body Count. I think their last albums are very very strong uh, I've listened to this one a bit uh, I'm not as familiar with uh, that one than the last two uh, that I don't have on vinyl and I hope to get them on vinyl at one point or another so Carnivore Brilliant Artwork Ice Tea and the Crew so great stuff um, another one that I had which is not a pre-order, but uh, I am a, I'm a subscriber to the uh, Third Band Records Vault. So I've got the Raconteurs uh, live album from Keynes Ballroom, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So as usual, with anything that Third Band puts out, it's beautiful, colored vinyl, can show you one and uh, this one came with uh, in the package in the whole package so this is what you get when you subscribe to third man as you all know in the VC uh, this came in the package with a blu-ray so congratulations for third man for putting blu-rays out they did a lot of DVDs and they are now switching to blu-rays which is very very good. I'd rather have Blu-rays and DVDs, obviously. So I don't know how Blu-rays are popular uh, elsewhere. But I think it's getting huge in the in the states. So now we have Blu-rays when we order from boat. Um, another band that I pre-ordered uh, before the lockdown. This is Tesla, they are five men, London Gem, 
which celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Five Men Acoustic Jam they released 30 years ago, and uh, they're doing songs from that original album, plus a couple of songs on their latest albums. So I gave it a listen. Uh, it sounds great. Uh, I think they lost a member on the way, they got a new guitar player uh, in the band for some time now, maybe a decade or more. Uh, this was a signed copy that I pre-ordered. Uh, I also pre-ordered the Blu-ray again. And discs are red and that would be the blue and the red one. Okay, so lots of great songs on there, but to give uh, California Summer Song, Forever Loving You are new songs, but to give it an old one, uh, Coming At Your Life, Trucking from The Grateful Dead, uh, We Can Walk It Out, cover of uh, The Beatles, Signs, another cover that was a huge hit when they released uh, the original Five Acoustic uh, Jam album. Uh, Tear It Up is a Doll song, if I'm not wrong, Into The Now is a new song and love song uh, and the album there's also paradise exactly what you want and a song called my the way which is a new one so i love um tesla i really love that acoustic album they did 30 years ago this one sounds really good uh, i haven't checked anything they released uh, any studio album they released over the last 10 years. I know they did a few, maybe three or four albums. So if I like the version, the acoustic version of their uncle's album, maybe I'll check their album out uh, later on. Okay. This is not LP, but this is the same size. size. Um, I was talking about Blu-ray, but I'm a bit of a freak I guess I like to order laser discs because some stuff released on laser discs are not yet released on uh, Blu-ray they're not remastered or whatever you might find DVDs of these but I'm not really sure actually the decade of decadence video was ever released on a DVD so I find these they are all second hands the covers are a little dusty and dirty, so I have to clean these, you know, there were some uh, rubber band heel marks, whatever. But the discs, they are all looking good. I checked them all, they are all playing well. So for the price I paid, I think it's okay for less, maybe like 10 bucks or, or less. So I got the Motley Crew video, I got this one. I only have this one on VHS, so it's nice to have this on the LD same here it was never released on DVD uh, to my knowledge big ones the greatest hits I think I had that one on VHS as well back in the day uh, so here's a laser disc so these are uh, all Japanese laser discs because I'd rather get the Japanese pressing, which are, uh, have a reputation to be uh, better. And uh, I haven't had a Japanese laser disc with, uh, what was that, laser rot, you know, when the glue inside uh, the lasers uh, rots and you get, you know, marks on your, uh, on your LD and it doesn't play uh, that well. So I never had that problem with anything from, uh, from Japan yet. Okay, um, obviously uh, I had also a couple of uh, LPs that I bought at the uh, market because you know you have to get food so always checking the LP uh, section uh, and I kept buying these nice remasters of, uh, that would be the cat, of uh, Dire Threats. They were released some time ago. I'm not sure when, but um, they are all part of a box set, so I get them uh, one by one. I got the first one, this is Communique, also bought last week, uh, Brother in Arms. Okay, I don't think that this one needs any introduction. 
so nice pressing uh, this one's on two disc because I discovered that the uh, CD version and the cassette back in the day were longer than the uh, original LP they released uh, I did a few research and uh, this is a two LP so you get the same length as the CD and the cassettes okay so that would be there so, and the last one to end up with a French artist this is Alain Bachung a re-release of his album Ose Josephine so if you don't know Alain Bachung and you like to hear uh, French uh, rock and roll pop rock this is a reading Anna Bachung is no longer with us sadly but uh, he released uh, some great great music great albums so this is really one I'd recommend this is one of his most popular Ozzy Josephine was a huge hit back in the day I don't know when it was released in 19 91 yeah early 90s okay so that's it a few vinyl uh, I haven't been to any uh, LP shop yet uh, it's, I'm working uh, in Paris but I'm doing uh, working from home during the whole pandemic and I will keep working from home for some time so no chance really to, to get to my uh, favorite shops and second hand shops to get more LPs or whatever but the post is working fine so whatever I can find pre-order I will okay so that would be it it's been three months we hope you're going out of this pandemic for good here in France hope it's getting better for everybody out there so hi to Steve Carson I, uh, <laughs> I just saw his, his videos uh, last night and sent him a little comment and uh, yeah the flood man the pandemic the flood everything you know it was bad bad uh, bad days for you but I know you're going to do good rebuilding your collection so it was great to see your videos love your videos you take care everybody else out there take care and uh, we'll see you soon whenever I get more LPs to show bye bye